previous videos we discussed what is mean by equal sets am i clear so equal sets means what my dear students if i have the one set a is equals to 1 2 3 and another one set if i have b is equals to 2 3 1 now my dear students these two sets are said to be equal these two sets are said to be equal because every exactly whatever in the set a have the element that is exactly the same element is there in the set b here one is there here also one is there two is there here also two is there three is there here also three is there so therefore a two sets a and b are said to be equal if exactly the same element whatever is there in the set a the same exactly the same element should be in the set b then we can say that a is equals to b this we discussed in the previous video in today's class we are going to discuss what is mean by equivalent sets so my students before understanding this we should know what is mean by here it is cardinal number so before understanding this i'll discuss what is mean by cardinal number so here it is cardinality also you can call so cardinality of a set or cardinal number means my dear students if i have the set a as elements 1 2 3 the cardinality of a means the cardinality of a is cardinality of the set of the set a is here it is how many elements are there one two three so therefore my dear students the cardinality of the set a is equals to three so what it means cardinality of the set a means the total number of elements present in the given set a is called as cardinality of the set a and this we will denote it as n of a am i clear my dear students so the cardinality of a number cardinality of a set a is denoted by n of a so n of a means what it is n of a means the total number of elements present in the given set a is called as cardinal number or cardinality of a set a and it is denoted by n of a clear so my dear students so here it is in the set a three elements are there so therefore n of a is equals to three so cardinal number and reno yeah on the set to continue set tally yes to elements in the entire count money barrio the k a number in a minute and the carry the way cardinal number and the carry the way at our cardinality of a set a and the carry the way usually irithi denote matter the n of a and the so you call a cardinal number so now my dear students after knowing the cardinal number so cardinal number and understand my dear nantara my name and discuss my the next concept and the equivalent sets so yeah our sets and equivalent sets on the carry the one three three two sets two sets a and b are b are said to be said to be equivalent said to be equivalent if n of a is equals to n of b so what it n of a means what what i told my students cardinality of a set a n of a means cardinality of a set a and b means cardinality of a set b so yaw they are to set a two sets a and b are said to be equivalent if n of a is equals to n of b so my dear students n of a is equals to n of b and tell it right so cardinality of a set a amala cardinality of a set b are to do equally there other can in the carry the way equivalent and tell it carry the way for example you can take my dear students example i'm taking a is equals to one two and b is equals to here it is three four so these two sets are said to be equivalent why these two sets are equivalent these two sets are said to be equivalent because n of a is equals to two n of a andre k kottiro set a ali est elements idave one two erad elements irodrinda n of a is equals to two anantra ili b anna set ali est elements idave erad elements so n of b is equals to two so n of a is two and n of b is b is equals to two so this implies n of a is equals to n of b so either cardinality amal e set the cardinality erudu same irodrinda a and therefore a and b are 
equivalent a and b are we can say here it is equivalent so equivalent means what my dear students a and b are equivalent sets so equivalent means if n of a is equal to n of b then we can say that a and b are equivalent and what is the difference my dear students equivalent and equal sets so what is the difference means equal sets equal sets anta helbekadre enagbeku exactly a l irtakkanta pratiyond element exactly same element enagirbeku b anno set alli idre aa case alli naave en heltevi a and b are equal sets but illi just a and b are equivalent anta helbekadre cardinalish ashte same irbeku elements same irbeku antilla so cardinality idralli irtakkanta elements idralli irtakkanta elements eradu same idre ಆವಾಗ ನಾವೇನಂತ ಕರಿಬಹುದು ಇಕ್ವಿವ್ಯಾಲೆಂಟ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕರಿಬಹುದು ಬಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಈ ಸೆಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಈ ಸೆಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಮಾತ್ರ ನಾವೇನು ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಕ್ವಲೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ನಾವೇನು ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಇಕ್ವಲೆಂಟ್ ಸೆಟ್ನ ನಾವೇನು ಅಂತ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಸೆಟ್ನ ನಾವೇನು ಅಂತ ಕರಿಬೋದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಕ್ವ ಇಕ್ವಿವೆಲೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿಬೋದು ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಸೆಟ್ನ ಇಕ್ವಿವೆಲೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿಬೋದು ಯಾಕಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತಾವೋ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಅದೇ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಯಾವುದೇ ಎರಡು ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಏನಾಗಿರ್ತವೆ ಇಕ್ವಿವ್ಯಾಲೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತವೆ ಬಟ್ ಇಕ್ವಿವೆಲೆಂಟ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಏನಾಗಿರ ಏನಾಗಿ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಆಗಿರ್ಲಿಕ್ಕಿಲ್ಲ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಎ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಆಗಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಇದು ಇಕ್ವಿವೆಲೆಂಟ್ ಕೂಡ ಆಗಿರ್ತದೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಎನ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಎನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇದಾವ ಒನ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಎನ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿ ಎಲ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇದಾವ ಒನ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಸೊ ಎರಡೂದ್ರ ಕಾರ್ಡಿಲಿಟಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಇವೆರಡು ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಇದ್ದು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅವಾಗ ಈಕ್ವಲಿಟಿ ಏನಾಗಿರ್ತದೆ ಇದೇ ಆರ್ ದೇ ದ ಟೂ ಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಈಫ್ ದ ಟೂ ಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ದೆನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲೈಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದ ಟೂ ಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಈಕ್ವಿವ್ಯಾಲೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಮೈ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಟೂ ಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಈಕ್ವಿವೆಲೆಂಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೇ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಕೇಸಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನೋ ಮೈ ಡೇ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಮೂವ್ ಟು ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಮೂವ್ ಟು ದ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮೈ ಡೇ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ so this is very very important concept my dear students so please try to concentrate what is mean by subset so here it is next is subset so what is mean by subset let a and b be the two sets next my dear students let here it is a and here it is a and b be the two sets a and b be the two sets then a is said to be a is said to be subset of a is said to be subset of b if every element if every element of a set a is also an element of b clear then we can say that a is subset of b let a and b be the two sets then a here it is then a is said to be a is said to be subset of a set a so sorry subset of b if every element of my dear students please remember here it is if every element of a set a is also an element of the set b then we can say that a is subset of b and a then it is denoted by and subset is denoted as like this a is subset of b this symbol we are going to use my dear students so please remember let a and b be the two sets then the set a is said to be subset of b if every element of a every element of a set a is 
also an element of a set B, then we can say that A is subset of B. For, so here it is more you will understand more clearly if I will take one example. So take out take down one example here it is. So I am taking here it is the set A is equals to 1, 2 and here it is the set B I am taking it as 1, 2, 3. Clear. Now my dear students A is said to be subset of B because every element of A, every element of A. So here it is every element of A is contained in the set B. Whatever we have in the set A, those elements are contained in the set B. So therefore A is, you can say here it is A is subset of B. A is here, you can say here it is here A is subset of B. Why means one is A in the set A, one element is contained, number one is there. So this the same element is also in the set B. 2 is here, the 2 is also in the set B. So therefore, we can say A is subset of B. So why it is A is subset of B, my dear students? What is the definition we have? Every element of a set A, A lirta kanta pratyondu element to yena irbeku, B L kuda irbeku. Every element of a set A is also an element of a set B. A lirta kanta pratyondu element to B L no set telidre. A kesele naavai nhal bodo. A is subset of A is. You can write here it is. A is subset of a. A is subset of a set. B, A is subset of B, you can write or A is a subset of a set B, you can call my dear students and usually we will denote the symbol like this, clear. So, next there is another one example I am going to take my dear students. So, what is the example means? I will take A is equals to. So, next I am going to take another one example I am going to take here it is. Let us take here it is A is equals to. 1, 2, 3 and another one set I am taking here it is B is equals to 1, 2, 3 or else I will take here it is 1, 2, 3. Now my question is my dear students is A is a subset of B. So my dear students here in this case A is subset of B. A is subset of B. Why uh, in this case A is subset of B? Because every element of A, A is the kanta pratyondu element to B L irodrinda. Nayan helte nile. A is subset of B. One is here, one is here. Two is here. Two is also contained in the set B. Three is in this set A. The same element is also in the set B. So therefore A is subset of B. Am I clear, my students? And therefore, we can say here it is, A is a subset of B. And now, my dear students, observe here in this example, what happening here it is, obviously A is a subset of B, there is no doubt. But here it is, oh, exactly here it is 1 comma 2 is there, but 3 is not here it is. Every element of A is in the set B, but A is not equals to B. Can I say my dear students, here A is a subset of B, but here A is not equals to B. Am I clear? A is not equals to B because 1, 2 is there, 1, 2 is there, but 3 is here, 3 is not in the set A. So therefore, but A is not equals to B. I am discussing just my dear students, first try to understand that, how will be the examples? In this case, A is a subset of B. But A is not equals to B. And now you can observe here it is. In this example, A is here also A is subset of B. But here it is. And also we can write A is subset of B. And A is equals to B also my dear students. A is equals to B. Can I say A is equals to B? A is equals to B because whatever elements, whatever elements in the set A have, the exactly same elements are there in the set B. One is here, one is here, two is here, two is here, three is here, three is here. So therefore, A is subset of B as well as A equals to B. These are the, these are the cases, my dear students. Here, you can observe here it is, first of all, what is mean by subset here it is? Subset means, if every element of A is in A is contained in the set B means, we can say that A is subset of B. 
here a is subset of b but a is not equals to b this may be the case and another one case may what is the case my students here also a is subset of b but a is equals to b here it is in this case a is not equals to b but in this case a equals to b so for that reason my dear students again we here it is we named the in such cases we named the subset as so again some more definitions we are giving so what is that means here it is here if a is a subset of b but if a is not equals to b means in this case we can say that a is this implies that a is proper subset a is proper subset of b so a is proper subset of b my dear students in this case we can call it as a is proper subset of b if a is subset of here it is if a is subset of b a is subset of b but a not equals to b a is proper subset of b if a is subset of b but a should not be equals to b such case we can call it as this we can call it as proper subset and it is denoted by my dear students and proper subset and it is denoted as it is denoted by like this my dear students here it is we can write like this or you can write like this you should scratch this one so this is the notation for the proper subset proper subset means what my dear students a here it is a must be subset of b but a should not equals to b then we can say that it is denoted by the proper subset is denoted by like this simply you should write like this or you should write you should use symbol like this so this is symbol for the proper subset and now my dear students you can observe here it is if a is a subset of b and if a equals to b then this case we can call it as improper subset so next we are going to discuss is improper subset the next concept is here it is improper subsets so what is mean by improper subsets improper subset so my dear students please remember here it is improper subset means what if a is if a is subset of b and a equals to b then if a is subset of b and a is equals to b then a is said to be a is said to be improper subset of b so my dear students if a is a subset of b and a is equals to b then we say then a is said to be improper subset of b clear so my dear students it is also usually we will denote the symbol and it is denoted by and it is denoted as and it is denoted as like this this symbol we are going to use for improper my dear students so so in some textbooks my dear students it is denoted as a is this symbol also used generally in your ncert textbooks they used here it is this simply they use this much so my dear students don't get confused so we can use denoted we can use the symbol like this my dear students denoted as a is subset of b this symbol is used if here it is if you use this symbol means what it indicates this indicates that either a is a, a is a, all every element of a is in the set b or here it is a may be equals to b so for the it is referring to the sign of here it is equal less than or equals to if you denote a is less than or equals to b means what it indicates my students it indicates that every element of a here it is if i write like this here it is it means here it is a is less than or less than b or a may be equals to b like that they use this symbol what is my students a is if i use this symbol means either a may be subset of b or a is equals to b you can use my dear students so if i write it oh, simply this much means you can understand that a is not equals to b but a is subset of b for this reason we are going to use this symbol my dear students if and here it is if 
a is subset of b and equal to b means in that case we, are, we will use the this symbol my students am i clear so this is all about subsets concept my dear students and please remember here it is in this case every element of a is in the set b it means we can say here it is i either we can use symbol like this a is subset of b you can write or you can write a is subset of b you can write or my dear students this also we can here in this case b we can call it as superset so we can write b is superset of a b is superset of a also you can call here a is or every element of a is every element of a is a is contained in the set b it means a is subset of b you can call or b is superset of a also you can call my dear students am i clear so this is all about the concept of subsets ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿ ನಾನು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಸರಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಕನ್ನಡಗಳು ಯಾಕಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ಕ್ಲಾರಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಇದು ಇಂದ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇಂದ ಈಸಿ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನು ಇಫ್ ಎ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ದ ಟೂ ಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಮತ್ತು ಬಿ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಎರಡು ಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಎ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಸೆಟ್ಟನ್ನು ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿ ಅಂತ ಯಾವಾಗ ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಎ ಅಲ್ಲಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಎ ಅಲ್ಲಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಎಲ್ಮೆಂಟು ಬಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿದ್ದರೆ ಆವಾಗ ಏನಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಎ ಈಸ್ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಸಿಂಬಾಲ್ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಎ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಎ ಇ ಎ ಇ ಎ ಅನ್ನೋ ಸೆಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸು ಬಿ ಎಲ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ರೆ ಎ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿ ಅಂತ ಕರಿಬೋದು ಬಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೇಸಸ್ ಏನಾಗ್ಬೋದು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಸಿಗ್ಬೋದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಒನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಏನಾಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಎ ಅಲ್ಲಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕೆಲವು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಬಿ ಎಲ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಎ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಎಲ್ಲ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸು ಬಿ ಎಲ್ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಇದು ಒಂದು ಕೇಸ್ ಅರೈಸ್ ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾ ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ತೇನೆ ಎ ಅಲ್ಲಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಎಲ್ಲ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸು ಬಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿದ್ರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನಂತ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ಇಫ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಕೇಸ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಇಂಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಎ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಕೆಲವು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಬಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಕೊಮ ಟು ಇದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಕೊಮ ಟು ಇದೆ ತ್ರೀ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಇ ಎ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಕೆಲವು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಎ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಿ ಎಲ್ ಬಿ ಎಲ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಮೂರು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ಬಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡೇ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ಕೆಲವು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಎಲ್ಲ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಇದ್ರೊಳಗಿದ್ರು ಈ ಕೆಲ ಎಲ್ಲ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಕೇಸ್ಗೆ ಏನಂತ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ ಸಿಂಬಾಲನ್ನು ಹೇಗೆ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಬರಿತೇವೆ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಬರಿತೇವೆ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಬರಿಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಎ ಅಂತ ಬರೋದು ಈ ಸ್ಕ್ರಾ ಇದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಸ್ಕ್ರಾಚ್ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಅಡ್ಡಗೆರೆಯನ್ನ ಎಳಿಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಈ ಸಿಂಬಾಲಿಗೆ ಏನಂತ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಸೊ ಇಂ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಹೇಳಿದೆ a a must be subset of b and a equals to b then we can say that a is a improper subset of b clear so my dear students and now we are going to discuss the next concept is my dear students remark you can take it as remark you can take here it is so what is remark means my dear students please remember it is before that if uh, mathematically we in symbolic form we can write here it is here it is in symbolically in symbolic form in symbolical form a a is subset of b a subset of b is written as written as here it is e symbolically symbolic in symbolical form how to write uh, a is subset of b means my dear students in symbolical form a is subset of b is written as how to write means a is here it is symbol is we can
am i clear my students so this is all about the definition of subsets what is mean by proper subset what is mean by improper subset this all we discussing my dear students still if you have any doubts you can comment me i'll reply for that and next we will discuss the remark my dear students so first i'll erase this one next we are going to discuss my dear students some important uh, you can take it as remark or you can take it as theorems so what is a theorem you can means my dear students the first we can take it as theorem you can take my dear students so what is theorem one means every set every set is subset of itself so this is the first uh, statement you can take my dear students what is that every set is subset of itself every set is subset of itself why means my dear students you can take here it is i'll take one example it is a is equals to 1 2 3 if you take the same set but i am naming it different letter one you can take it as one two three so my dear students you can observe here it is whatever i have the set the same set i took here it is so can i call this set as subset of this when i when, when we will call any set is subset of the different set here it is uh, i mean a when we can call a is subset of b we can say a is subset of b if every element of a is in the set b now in discuss martha then and tell the one set to wonder every set is subset of itself yeah they want set to wonder are they set to other set again are the subset i can discuss martha then but you may understand ugly and tell you they set an elite to wonder could a has run a matter change my dna capital b and tell a consider my dna so a no do say b is a set capital a set b set subset today and tell here back other than again go to rebecca in and on discuss my back and tell the Yearly the kanta yalla element to be a little will with a chak mad beko yearly out of the day one one is a ili one in a two is a ili two is a three is a ili three is a so therefore nine here bodo a is a subset of b a is said to be subset of b because every element of a is contained in the set b therefore a is subset of b but b is nothing but what is this my dear students 1 2 3 1 2 3 so again here it is you can take it as a you may confuse our the note this cost rather than a b in the town today but it do it is nothing but a a only so therefore a is subset of itself so a is subset of a you put on the element to other k in here the nail and tell the every set yeah they want set to wonder no other set to get a while in here today subset i get a day yeah subset i get a new yeah was set at the only there are they set in a matu sir matun sir are they such a then you consider martha erode in the e set a little can the party on the element to it is set a little day so other goes kara we can say is subset of a so therefore every set is subset of itself you can take any set that set is subset to the same same set clear and next my students we can discuss the second you can take we can take it as theorem second theorem so what is that so that is nothing but empty set is empty set is subset of every set so this is the second result my students very very important empty set is subset of every set empty set we can say it is empty set is subset of here it is any set we can take any set i am taking here it is one set a so why phi is phi is empty set is denoted like this wide set while discussion of the types of the sets i told you so empty set is subset of every set why empty set is subset of every set me every uh, set means my dear students now again go to the yao de one set a b the subset the a is subset of b and the ava health away a little kanta prati on the element to b a little now in hell about the a is a subset of b and tell you hell about but none of the you don't set it empty set and on set to empty set and on set to a and on set so e empty set to subset of every set it doesn't help become there now again go through beku phi and a set tele yaa elements are now are they elements who a no settle e settle here beko on tele check martini but phi and no dna gdle 
ಫೈ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಎಮ್ ಟಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಎಮ್ ಟಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ರೀತಿ ಎಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಯಾವುದೇ ಎಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇರೋದು ಇಲ್ಲದೇ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನನಗೆ ಜಡ್ಜ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಈ ಎಮ್ ಟಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಎಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಯಾವುದೇ ಎಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಎಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದರೆ ನಾನು ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಎಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆಯೋ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ ಇದೆಯೋ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ಬಟ್ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ರೀತಿ ಎಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇರೋ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವೇನು ತಗೊಳ್ತೇವೆ ಎಮ್ ಟಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವೇನು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇನೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಎಮ್ ಟಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಅನ್ನು ಏನಂತ ತಗೊಳ್ತೇವೆ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಸೆಟ್ ಇದು ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಎಮ್ ಟಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಮೈ ಡಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಟೂ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನದರ್ ಒನ್ ನೋಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಮೈ ಡಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ನೋಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಟಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಎಮ್ ಟಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಟಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಸೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದ ಸೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಟೂ ಆರ್ ದ ಟೂ ಇಂಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಇಂಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಫ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಟಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಸೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಟೂ ಇಂಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಇಂಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಎ ಸೊ ಜೆ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಮೈ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಎನಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಎ ದೆನ್ ಎಮ್ ಟಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಸೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಟೂ ಎ ಆರ್ ದ ಟೂ ಇಂಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಎ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಎ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಟೂ ಇಂಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಎಮ್ ಟಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಸೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಇಂಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎನಿ ಗಿವನ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಎ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೋ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮೈ ಡಿಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಸೆಟ್ ಇದನ್ನು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ನೋಡಿ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಹಿರ ಡಿಸ್ ಮೈ ಡಿಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಹಿರ ಡಿಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿ ನೋ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಎಮ್ ಟಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಎಮ್ ಟಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೈ ಇಸ್ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿರ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಒನ್ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ this is a set only i wrote here it is we know that f5 is empty set uh, empty set is subset of every set this is the one subset of phi is subset of this because of this result and another one is the same here it is 1 2 3 the set itself is also subset of any set so this is the one set i took a is equal to 1 2 3 for this set the set itself is subset of every set and phi is also subset of every set so therefore my dear students this the set for the any set a the set itself and empty set we can take it as improper subsets why it is improper means this is subset of this set as well as these elements are equals to these elements so therefore my dear students every set is it's a, every for any set a as uh, the set itself and the phi set we can call it as improper subsets am i clear so like this this is these are all the my dear students concept you should remember this will help you in uh, some more results i am going to discuss in the next video i am going to discuss there this all results will helpful to you clear and now my dear students i'll take some more examples so here it is a is equals to 1 2 and b is equals to 3 4 so now tell me whether a is subset of b so here it is in this case my dear students a is in this case we should check check whether it is subset or not so for that reason what i'll do my dear students in this case every element of a is not in the set b so therefore this implies a is not subset of b this is example for the not a subset every element of a is not
and next comma my dear friends what we'll do means i'll write i'll write one here it is next we can take it as question write down write all subsets of a set a 1 2 my dear friends please remember i given to you write all subsets of a set a one set a they given to you we should write all the possible subsets for this set a so what are the possible subsets of a means here i'll write here it is first we should write the subsets of a set a so my dear students here it is the subsets of directly i'll write subsets of subsets of a r the subsets of a r so what are those my dear students i already told you that empty set is subset of every set so empty set annodu pratiyondu yavade set il subset agirutade so adukoskara nan inge en barili kelidarile a anodu on set kottidare ee set idu all subsets barive so first yavadu barithene anthe helidare 5 barithe yak 5 barithene anthe helidare nanage already enu gottide yavade set irli empty set anodu enagirutade aa set ige subset subset empty set is a subset of every set agirodrinda 5 anodu first barithene idu enagirutade sa sa a the subset agirutade and next questions the set itself that is 1,2 the set itself is a subset to every set clear because here it is every set is subset of itself so yava set tagondidre ade set adakke avagalu ene irutade subset agirutade so adukoskara idondu subset aitu in next yavudu i can write here it is one my dear students because this set is also an element of here it is e set alli irthakkanta subset andre eno idu one set a irutade so a anodu e set e set subset anta yava heltevi ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಈ ಸೆಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ರೆ ಈ ಸೆಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಈ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಬ್ರಾಕೆಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೀಬೇಕು ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಕೆಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ಬ್ರಾಕೆಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವೈ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಒನ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಸೊ ದೆನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಚೆಕ್ ದಟ್ ಫೆದರ್ ದ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಆರ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಇಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಆರ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಬ್ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ clear and one so this is subset of this and next my students i'll write the element 2 these are the only possible subsets of the given set a why means i'll check i, I wrote here i wrote i already i wrote all this but i'll check once whether these are really subset of a set a or not clear so here it is so verification we can my students verification we can take verification for we ourselves in examination we will write that much that's enough but just i'm verifying you so here it is phi is subset of every set we know here it is by this result i am writing empty set is subset of every set and this my dear students 1,2 is subset of 1,2 am i clear every element is uh, one is here one is here two is here two is here so therefore this is subset of this set is subset of the given set 1,2 and next modulations this set if i take one so this is also subset of this because in this set whatever elements are there thus uh, that elements must be in this set then we can say that this set is subset of this the element one is here the one is here also so therefore this set is subset of this set 1,2 and next if you take element 2 so this is also subset of this 1,2 this set is subset of this because every element of here it is the every element of this set is contained in this set 2 is here 2 is here so therefore this set is subset of this given set uh, the set containing 1,2 so therefore my dear students these are the only these are the only possible subsets of the given set a what they asked write all the subsets of a set a so what are the subsets of a set a my dear students then 5 1,2 1 2 so these are the only subsets of the given set 1,2 like this we should write the side, uh, subsets of the any given set we'll continue in the next video my dear students still if you have any doubts please comment me i'll reply for that and we'll continue in the next video